Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking architectural presentation trick and it looks like when you have a perspective either floor plan or a section or whatever you can kind of create it so it looks like it's cut into the paper so it kind of has some depth inside of your paper so I'm going to be using this project over here but before I get started I'm, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day okay so let's get started I'm going to be exporting a view from here so this is just a building I did for school so I'm going to scroll down and go to 3d view 2 here we have just a perspective section and I have this one too so I think this one would work pretty well for this kind of a thing and if you want to see how to create perspective sections or floor plans links to those tutorials are in the description of this video and now I'm just going to double tap the R button and here you can set up I guess to medium or and just go to printer and then render I have already rendered it but once you finish you just go here to export and you save it on your computer but I've already done that so I'm just going to minimize everything and here I have my section so I'm just going to right click on it go open with and I'm going to choose Photoshop I have the version CS6 but you can use any version you would like now this is loaded in as a background so we need to create a new layer over it for our paper and then you just need to start selecting so I'm going to create one selection like this then one like this and you're basically trying to select the walls and the floors and kinda everything that's underneath so you need to select this here kinda like that and I'm just using rectangular selection and make sure that here you have checked this multiple selection or add to selection then you kinda zoom out you place one here perhaps and then you have to do basically every single floor like this now the great thing you can be a bit sloppy you can go outside the boundary but make sure you don't go inside the the boundary so don't go like this you can go kinda over a bit but when you've placed all the walls like so just a few more okay I think I have everything so you can just right click go fill choose white and go apply and you get something that looks like this now this already looks cool but you need to kinda decide what to do with this portion so what I like to do is I like to right click and deselect and then just select this layer and choose this brush tool and make it a large brush make sure that hardness is at zero and make it quite large and then just start applying it a bit here now it's going to start cutting in over here so let me just undo this because I don't want this I want to save this part so I'm just going to create a selection like this okay so once this is completed this selection now we can start kinda fading out everything on this side so let's kinda go like that yeah this looks alright okay now only the building is showing now you just select your selection tool you right click and then you deselect okay so once you get something like this then I suggest you select your background layer and then you can add some effects so I'm just going to use the vibrance and saturation bring the saturation down then I'm going to use brightness contrast and bring the brightness down a bit and the contrast up a bit so we get kind of a this deep dark drawing or presentation effect oh okay so that's pretty much all you get so you go to file save as and let's just save it as an image to desktop let's call it new and save it at maximum go ok and there you go so if I minimize this and open this up this is something you get Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.